Hello and welcome back to Minecraft and Survival episode 15, I think? Also, this is going to be very interesting recording this segment because my cat is literally laying on half the mouse map. I, I have, I need to, <laughs> this is not, <laughs> this is up, not optimal conditions, also it is extremely hot and I have to sit in a closed room. Um, this is the pain I go through. Yeah. Anyways, uh, today we will be doing uh, a few different things. Now, I would like to point out that we are still in Minecraft... Uh, wait, wrong buttons. We are still in Minecraft 1.16.5, uh, I believe. Um, but I do know that 1.17 is out with the better end mod, so I will be switching very, very soon. But I want to do some building first, and I want to time lapse it. Hello, editing binary here. Um, sadly, there won't be any time lapses in this video. I really wanted to add one, but sadly, I hadn't tested the replay mod with my mod pack, so I just assumed that it worked, but turns out it didn't. So when I went ahead to export the replay mod footage, it crashed on me. So sadly, no time lapses today, but I am hoping to do more of them in the near future. Sorry about that, but we still have a bunch of work to do in this episode, so let's get right back into the video. Also, the cat moved, so now I have even more space. This is great. <laughs> in the last episode, we moved a bunch of our items over in the shulker boxes right here. Um, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff to sort, and I would like to extend the house. I have actually done a little bit of work off camera here, deciding where I want to move the scaffolding to. Um, as you can see, it is kind of going to take a shape here, and I have plans on top as well, which you can see over here. I have a staircase leading up because I want to do some stuff there as well. Now, where is... Ah, this is all my stuff. All right, let me swap inventories, and I'll be right back. And boom. Perfect. We're back to normal with our shadow berries. I'm actually cooking up some more. Now, where... Is this cooked? It is cooked. Okay. Uh, where I want to go today... Uh, because I do want some different types of wood and there goes the cat perfect. I, I have all the mouse map space that I need <laughs> I want to go to this forest right here and my reason for that is that I have decided that I Want to try and do something a little bit crazy. I want to have each segment of the house So this is one segment then another segment this area this area and this area So in total this would be four segments. I want each segment to be a different kind of wood from the better end mod. So that is kind of my aim. So I want to go here, get some of this wood, and then I want to go here and get some of this wood as well. Each room of the house or the base would then have a different purpose and also would be decorated with different kinds of stuff. So why don't we go there? Um, I have an ax, can I possibly upgrade it? I could make a Thalcium one, but I don't think that is really worth it. I could make a Diamond one, but nah, I'm not gonna do that. I don't have access to my Ender Chest just yet, because I don't know where I want to put it just yet, so I'm not gonna place it, uh, but we will get to that. But I think I just need to move forward here into this forest, then here, here, and I should be able to actually get some of this wood as well. So I might actually be able to get three different types of wood on this journey. And then, after that, if we still have time, I do want to make the end for Good Dummies book, uh, this up here. And I do want to address a little bit of an issue that I have discovered. There are some items that are required to make some of the essential items in this mod that I do not have access to. And I want to show you the respawn obelisk, which, to make those, we need an infusion pedestal. No issue there. But then in the middle we have an end crystal and to make that I need gas here and the only way to get gas here is from a ghast. So unless, of course I haven't updated this to 1.17, so unless the mod authors have made a way to get gas tiers from the end, I will, or it's lootable in some chests somehow, do let me know if you know if that's a thing guys. Um, but if it's not possible for me to obtain through vanilla means, and by that I mean of course through the mod and whatnot, um, I may have to make some recipe adjustments or something with the data pack because I really, really want to be able to make, to make stuff. But there are a few things that are holding me back. Anyways, that is enough talking, it's boring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I want some of this wood right here, and I think I'll take this tree. I think I'm gonna take the whole thing down, that way I can also potentially get some 
saplings. Look at that. That is what I want right there. So I am going to take down this whole tree and I'll be right back. That that tree was big. <laughs> I got a lot of wood from that, but I have a feeling I'm not going to regret that uh, because I have a feeling I might actually need this much. Anyway, uh, that's that. I planted a new one. I don't know if it needs only one or four saplings as these trees are quite big. I might have missed some wood here and there, but you know what? It, it, it's fine. Um, it, it's still decaying and that's going to grow a new one anyway. Uh, so now I actually need to go in this direction. I still have some ender pearls left. Um, and I need to go, I think, to that island over there. And then over to that one. Oh boy, this is going to be a dangerous journey. But a necessary one. Ooh, look at this. Oh, okay, it's gone. Yeah, I can make that. I can make that. Right? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> that was a little bit too close for comfort there, but uh, we're good. All right, moving past the slimes. Uh, I could... What's that? Wait, what? 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 Okay, I think that is just... Nope, that's just... Where? What are those? Okay, now, those are cool. I should have taken one of these. This looks smaller. All right, what do we have here? Um, okay, I can't, I can't gather that apparently. Okay. Oh, this place looks sick. Nice. Okay, I'm about to chop down this tree. <laughs> oh boy. What are those though? I can't tell. Is it logs? I think it's literally logs, floating. No, it can't be. It has to be something else. And I just spotted a lonely end city tower right here. Would you look at that? <laughs> All right. Well, this bark right here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that color right there. Right. I'm going to get to it. All right. That took a while. Again, I replanted the tree and we should be good to go home. Right. My axe broke. So I literally broke the tree. Some of it anyway with my hands. That was painful. I don't know what those are. We will have to go up and investigate that another time. But right now, we do not have the time to do so. I simply do not have the materials to go and grab the wood from that. Um, I would, but I just do not have the materials to do that yet. Uh, because I need a better axe. That is literally the next thing that I'm going to make an upgrade to. Not my armor, but... My pickaxe, not my pickaxe, sorry, my, my axe. That's what I meant to say. Can I skip this whole thing and just maybe go over there? Maybe. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. All right, I'll see you at home. Oh, look at this little fella. Silk moth. It's so cute. I didn't notice it, but I forgot to, to show it to you when I uh, when I cut down the tree here. It's so cute. That's very, very cool. I like those small details. Uh, do have any fish in here? No? Alright, moving on. No, oh boy. Scary. Does this ship have a... Uh, ender chest by any chance? Because if it does, I would love to place one down and sacrifice it. Uh, already have that. To get the stuff that is in my ender chest. Because I do believe that I have some blocks of use. Uh, I may already have been here and gotten this stuff. I will take the bookshelves though, uh, because I can definitely use the books. And we are home. <laughs> Perfect. All right, let me get my inventory sorted and I'll be right back. All right, first things first, I don't care. I am making another axe because I need to build this. I have plenty of thalcium. Uh, Wait, what? Oh, I forgot you need to... Uh, I know I can make terminite and all that stuff. I... Okay, yay, yay, yay. Uh, right. I really did not want to do this right now. But... Wait, how do you do it again? Right, a hammer. Uh, no, no. Well, do I have my hammer? I do. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I did not want to do this now, but... Uh, e, uh, calcium axe and a smithing table I should have in here. 
Right, I, I just, I cannot not have this for doing this next build because, yeah, that's going to literally drive me insane. So that, that was very much needed. All right, two new sections will be added to the house. Uh, again, each section will be of new wood. So I will not be making that today, but I will be building this right here. All right, what do you think? Um... I'm, I'm kind of thinking of lighting issues right now because uh, this place is a little bit dark. These are just temporary. Now uh, these neon cactus are very cool though. But yeah, what do you think? I kind of like the transition from one kind of wood to another, to another, and eventually to another as well. Um, I do not know what I want. Oh, hi. Hello, buddy. Perfect timing, actually. I do not know what I want to do. Uh, for the roof up here. Maybe eventually we can have a berry farm up here That would be pretty cool. Maybe a huge one that would basically fill out the whole roof So we can have a whole field basically of these berries. Maybe we can have a little bit of a hut up here Maybe for something. I don't know something in the future um, It's an idea anyway. It's a work in progress But do let me know what you think of this down below in the comments Now I think it's time to get rid of this endstone because I do not need it anymore at least not for right now all right, now what do I need in different sections? I think the very first section that I need to think of is a work area. A work area for having my smelter, my smithing table, my anvil, maybe some pedestals as well. I'm going to put this wood in here. Um, and a chest as well for having... Um, for obviously having like resources and also other stuff. Uh, so I'm thinking if I have my main workbench here, so if we have the anvil, the smithing table, and then maybe something else over here, and then we have the endstone smelter, and then maybe a flavor light furnace, and a chest next to that maybe? Uh, yeah, bad meh, meh, yeah, yeah. I think actually maybe having two of those if I just steal this one oh, If I steal this one, I'll get another one up and running and Then we have maybe a chest for finished resources and a chest for raw resources something like that Maybe then some pedestals that can hold something and then I think maybe a crafting table over here But I think it will have to be a wood contrast to the uh, to <laughs> to the wood that is here so it's easier to see maybe something like that and then we could have some more pedestals as well i could have maybe a chest over here for like all tools and armor maybe a double chest actually is a good idea like so you know what maybe two double chests one for tools and like tool equipment stuff and then one for like armor and stuff like that i think that kind of makes sense Something like that. Again, these light thingies, they're temporary. <laughs> I will replace them eventually. Um, but I think I kind of like this. Then we can have something over here. And we don't... Some rooms may not have anything. Some rooms may just be decorated to be looked out of. Um, right, the ender chest. I think this area should be a living area. So let me actually organize. Well, I think this should be a little bit of a storage room. Or maybe that should be a storage room with maybe barrels. Hmm. I actually think we're going to have this room a little bit different. I think we're going to take these out right here. And what I want to then do, because we have this that is pretty much up towards the tree anyway, which will make it so that we can't really have a proper window. So I think if we make this a window, and then cover this rest up right here and then do the same over here then we can have the middle uh wait hold on one two three four five six seven i guess the middle three can be a window then um i guess that makes sense or we could move it over now nah, let's have some symmetry and then these are two over here and then i can basically place oh wait a minute Ooh, i'm thinking wrong no, 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 this this could work. This could actually work very well. So what we'll have is we'll have chests here, chests here, and then barrels in the corner because chests are not full blocks, so we can still reach the barrels in here. 
How about that? I think that would be a pretty good solution to that little bit of a issue. So if we just do that. Yeah, that I think this is I think this is a good solution. This will be our storage room, which will be right next to the work area as well. I think this is perfect. I don't think I've got to do anything over there because I think this area will be enough. All right. I think in in that case, I think it's time I make some barrels and whatnot for that area. All right. So far, I have nine barrels and five chests. So if I do this, uh, maybe not that. <laughs> If I do that, right, and then we have chests going here and here, then I can fit in there and I can reach these chests and it works okay well, I think, actually. So barrel, I do not want them facing like that. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I would like them to face that way. Uh, maybe over here as well. Yeah, maybe, maybe over here too, we will have chests. Yeah, let me make a bunch more chests actually. All right, I think this should do for now, even if I don't have enough. Like so. And like that. Yeah, I think that works. And then maybe some extra barrels here too. And that slime gotta go, because it's driving me nuts. Slime balls are definitely not the hardest thing to come by. And just like that. Yeah, I like that. Then we can have item frames on these chests as well. And then, yep. I like that. I like that a lot. Now over here, what am I to do here? I wonder. Um, oh, I should have a place for shulker boxes. I guess I can place shulker boxes along the windows. Yeah, I think that's a. I think that's an idea. Yeah, I think that's an idea. Not gonna lie, I do not know what this area will be. <laughs> I don't actually know what this area will become. Um, I'm gonna leave it empty for now. Relatively empty anyway. Uh, gonna leave this stuff in there because yeah, I don't, I don't know what I want to put in here. I don't know what I want to do with this room. Leave suggestions down below in the comments. Um, but I am going to put my shulker boxes here and ooh, I should place the ender chest in the middle here. I'm going to boom. There we go. I can't move it until I get silk touch and all right. Very good. I do have a bunch of this endstone dust, which is excellent to make the windows, but we'll do that another time. I think and it's about time that we make this end for dummies book. So to make it, I need um, um, I need one of this. And then I do believe that I need my hammer, which I left in this chest over here. There we go. And I believe I do this. No mind in here. No. Okay. Hold on. And the dust. Uh, place it wrong. Ah, there we go. End dust. And then I, ew, ew, ewy. <laughs> uh, what I then do is I combine that with a single book. And, uh, there we go. The end for dummy's book. We have been hunting for this since episode two or something. Now it's finally here. Are we ready to open it? I don't know what it's going to contain. I guess only one way to find out. And for dummies, first edition, a short guide about surviving in the extreme conditions of the end. Biomes, rituals, crafting, and veil? Eh? Entry index. An index of every chapter available in this book. You may search through the index or any other category by simply typing in the category. Okay. Rituals. Biomes. Okay, so if the book is a work in progress, obviously. Um, but I'm hoping when I update to 1.17 that we will get new stuff in here. Rituals, infusion, right? Very cool and interesting looking stuff. Eternal ritual. Ooh. Right. We will have to look at the process progress of this book. I will be updating the mod pack to 1.17 and I will see you in the next episode. Really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to check out the video to the right right now. Subscribe above my head or click on the video to the left, which YouTube selected for you. Anyways, with that said, hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and goodbye.